My name is Kate Pell and I'm the shelter manager for Farm Sanctuary's Orland, California shelter and I'd like to introduce you to our newest resident. This girl is one of the lucky few who will only know kindness and compassion throughout her whole life. Not all of the animals are as lucky. Right now this lamb is the only one we've been able to bring home. Her mother is still receiving life-saving care because of how sick she was when she gave birth. This little lamb wasn't alone for very long though. Shortly before she was born, we took in another lamb. These two lambs both came from similar situations and are thankfully both here at Farm Sanctuary now to live out the rest of their lives with love and compassion from everyone that they meet. past 10 or so years, there's been a really big upswing of um, these farm to table type establishments having like small numbers of animals. So it's not a factory farm and the animals are often raised organically, but the animal is still only worth the amount of money they can make. So what we're seeing more and more of is that the animals are not given, not even just basic care, but sometimes no care at all. Um, and sometimes the conditions are just completely egregious. Uh, a lot of those places are advertising online, and so when you're seeing them, and you're just seeing like close-ups of animals, or you're seeing like a, a picture of a pasture that could be taken absolutely anywhere, I think it is very, there, there's an appeal to it that kind of takes you away from this whole like, oh, well, this isn't a factory farm. But anytime that you have an animal that is being sold, or that their only value is, for their wool or their meat or the eggs that they provide or milk. That if you're losing money because you're taking care of that animal in the way that they actually need to be taken care of, then you're not making a profit. So anytime that you put a market value or a money value on an animal, the care is going to go down. And, and so we're seeing so many more of these now based on the demand for meat, eggs, dairy that are you know, not from like large factory farms. So Nate and Bob were actually at a small farm, so they were being raised for lamb, uh, lamb meat. So mom was a breeder and their mom died um, in the process of giving birth to them. They were in the corner of a barn um, when someone actually came in to buy goats. And she asked about them and you know what they were doing there because clearly they were dying. And the, the response was, if they make it, they make it. And if they don't, they don't. And they, they wouldn't have made it. So they came directly here. She asked for them and he, the, the farmer, released them. And they came directly to us and we took them directly to Cornell. And if we hadn't gotten, especially Nate, in, they, they think within a few hours of the time he arrived, he, he would have perished. So to, again, to see this animal as just, a, a, you know, the only value this animal has is his meat, you know, takes away from the fact that he's Nate, he's really awesome, right? Say, I'm Nate, I'm really awesome. <laughs> Every one of them is. So all of these animals are individuals and, and here at Farm Sanctuary, we treat them all based on what they need and who they are. And so Nate had all the care he could possibly get. And now he's clearly feeling, feeling much better. Uh, when he came, he could hardly walk because he was so weak. Um, and the same with his friend Bob. And they will get to grow up here together and live out their lives and have an amazing, amazing time at Farm Sanctuary. Every animal deserves to be able to run in the grass, kick their legs in the air, drink fresh water, hang out with their best buddies, and live a life of freedom. 